tonight on 7. The season premiere of How I Met Your Mother and My Name is Earl. Then the premiere special, Lost, A Tale of Survival. Live across WA from the studios of 7 Perth, Susanna Carr and Rick Arden. Tonight, the AFL TV deal for 2007. What it means for footy fans in WA. The Perth school teacher accused of a lesbian affair with a student. And angry farmers demand action to stop another fire tragedy. You're watching 7 News. Good evening and welcome to 7 News. Also tonight, Northbridge support for a call to arm bouncers. And a $4 billion compensation deal for asbestos victims. That's it for me on this Thursday night. Have a great evening. Here are Rick and Good night. Thanks, Baz. After the break, Jeff has the forecast covering the weekend. And then the numbers in the $12 million Powerball draw. Coming up, a dodgy doctor demanding $50,000 to cure cancer and make you look younger. Plus, catching out insurance fraud, the man who said he was disabled, but look at what he's been doing. And Australia's magnificent mum, nine kids and still counting after Powerball. Now, Fuel Watch, Perth's petrol prices, brought to you by Fuel Watch and 7 News. Well, a very good morning. Uh, good evening. <laughs> I was just thinking about this morning. Actually, it was quite interesting with all that mist around, but the, the breeze came in and cleared it away quickly. 19.1 was our minimum at four minutes past six this morning and our maximum 26.4 at five minutes to three this afternoon. Very pleasant out there at the moment, 23.9 degrees. Humidity up there at 61%. The barometer 1009. It is steady and the wind southwest at 22 kilometres now. Well, around the metropolitan area, have a look at this. Most centres below the average for the month, although Gosnell's got up to 30. But the good news is that uh, my name is Earl and lost. They're back tonight. Schools Air Watch. Thanks to all the schools again for sending in the information. Temperature's pretty much the same everywhere, thanks to Jacob, Becky, Tori and Josh at Mount Helena. And St Joseph say hello to Miss Barnsby. Welcome along. Heads. There we are. Everything's falling around here. WA today. Just some traces of rain in the southwest, but nothing to get excited about, unfortunately. The hot spot was Carnegie in the interior, 45 degrees. The lowest maximum was 19 at Pemberton, and the lowest minimum out on the Nullarbor there, 7 degrees at air. The synoptic chart gives you some idea of what's happening over the weekend. There is a little uh, high-pressure system moving to the south of the state as that trough moves away. And uh, on Saturday, the... Trough will form again off the coast and deepen, temperature rising. It'll move inland on Sunday and there's possibly a few overnight showers on Sunday as a weak front moves through rather rapidly though and we're returning to fine conditions for the start of next week. Interstate tomorrow, a late gusty storm for Darwin and we've got a shower or two for Sydney. It will be fine, as you can see, in all the other centres. Boating information, a strong wind warning is current. South to southwesterly winds at 20 to 30 knots until midnight. Tomorrow, southeast, 13 to 18 knots, tending south-southwest, 18 to 23 knots in the afternoon. Seas 1.5 to 2 metres and the swell to 1.5 metres. Not a bad day tomorrow. It's going to be fine with an afternoon sea breeze. Overnight 16 and the maximum 30. The seven-day outlook... Fine for the weekend, with an overnight shower, as I said, possibly on Sunday night. But it's going to be fine again until Thursday, when there is a possibility of a further shower. In the meantime, good luck. It's Powerball time.